All right, let's get this started. So today we're looking at Barrow again, seeing as how he's coming back every two weeks. You know, it's kind of like clockwork, right? Um, oh, well, this is actually quite a few, quite a few new things. Um, I mean, as far as the cosmetics go, if you like the cosmetics, go ahead and get them. Uh, this is new. It actually looks kind of cool, but eh. Uh, Day of the Dead. Oh, right. Let's see. Dark, so Dark Sword? Yeah, but nobody uses this. Okay. And then uh, some more cosmetics. Nabaris. I already have this. Yeah, I do, apparently. Ooh, that's nice. But anyways, moving on to the items. So, the new things that are here, the mods, um, don't... <sighs> The fire mods don't bother with. You can get these from spies. Spies you're going to have to do more than once for Avara anyway, and you're probably going to get at least one. The most expensive one, from my recollection, is Scattering Inferno. But even then, um, Scattering Inferno used to only drop from Tier 2 spies. I mean, it still does only drop from Tier 2 spies. But uh, with the Jupiter rework, I think a lot of people have actually, like, bothered to sit down and learn how to do that so uh, the price has gone down a little bit i used to be able to sell these for 40 or 50 plat but these days uh, the the value is probably something like 20 or 25 plat scattering inferno yeah 15 plat 20 plat and that actually let's see if there was a price drop recently no there wasn't even a price drop Here's your 40 out. Here's your two day. Here's your two day uh, averages. Price didn't even go down because of Barrow. So, yeah, Scattering Inferno is probably the most expensive one. And it's not even worth all that much. Don't don't bother with these. Um, Prisma Veritux. You probably do want to get this. Yes, while most people dread Archwing because it's deserved. Um. You should probably get this, even if it's just for the MR, which makes it excellent in that case. Prisma Angstrom, pretty much the same idea. It's an explosive, it's a self damage explosive weapon. It's got a lot of AoE. The problem is, is that it has so much AoE that it'll probably hit you and then you're probably dead. Um, the rest of these cosmetics we've seen before. Uh, as far as the primed mods go, Charge Shell, it's. Yeah, it's a primed uh, elemental mod, but the thing is, is that not everyone uses these on shotguns, mostly because there's no room for this. And while it is cool that electric is part of corrosive and that you can definitely strip armor from a mob using a high pellet shotgun, the thing about it is that you typically want to use the status mods instead because those will actually get you to 100% before, before multi-shot. Uh, Prime Charge Shell is pretty niche, but that niche exists, and it is worth getting if you like shotguns. Um, yeah, I can't really think of much else to say about that. It, it shouldn't, like, there's better mods for the value in terms of the Ducat cost and the credit cost, but... In the cases where it's where it is useful, you're well, you're gonna wish you had it anyway. Prime Target Cracker. This, on the other hand, is definitely something that you buy. Half of the pistols in this game are crit pistols, whereas Prime Charge Shell doesn't actually fit into all the shotgun builds. This one does, especially if you're into using the kit guns, because if you're building a kit gun for crit, which is all the kit guns, you want this. Um, what else? Beacons, if you specifically need to hunt down the the assassins, this is a good way to do it. Stalker, well, I mean, you can just kill a boss and you'll be hunted by the stalker. The Goosetrog 3 and Xanica Hunter, you can get these guys to attack you by doing invasions, which you should be doing anyway, starting now, if only because... Well, actually, no. No, no, no. no. You have to do the Grenier versus Corpus ones. 
Uh, it doesn't count if you do the infested ones. So while people are doing invasions now for infested in order to get to the derelict, uh, these happen in Corpus versus Grenier invasions. And you have to support either side in order to get the other one to want to attack you or do a lot of pub missions. Uh, I wouldn't argue that these are worth getting because the weapons that they drop are MR fodder. The BRAC is not good, though this is pretty much the only way to get it now that, now that LOR is gone. And Zeneca Hunter, well, drops the regular Detron, but it's easier to get the Mara Detron, which is uh, better, in any case. And I guess the I guess the final item here, this is the three-day mod drop booster. This is the new item that they introduced with Atlas Prime's um, with with Atlas Prime, and there's been a bit of a buzz about this. Apparently, it doesn't actually increase. So it says doubles the chance of mod drops, right? Well, rather than actually increasing the drop rate of an item from one percent to two percent, it actually gets rid of one of the no drops because. Uh, how loot works in the game it rolls twice it first it rolls to see if the mob drops anything at all and then it chooses what it drops as opposed to simply having both of the tables combined together so this is so the math doesn't actually make it 2x and that's a bit of a scam though nothing else like this exists and with the reintroduction of Necro stacking with Korra and Korra stacking with Hydroid and all those loot mechanic mods or loot mechanics going together, um, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Although you can get you can get a lot of mods from just buying this and then using Necros again anyway. So if you really like Endo and you really hate Ducats. This might be worth picking up a couple of these, though I actually would recommend. <sighs> I honestly don't know if I could recommend against this. I can't recommend it, but I can't really recommend against it either. So, you know what? I I am not sure if, if I can actually give you more information to make this decision, make this decision on whether or not you want to buy this effectively. I apologize. I suck. AFK. And with that, we're going to end this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you, see you next week.